Welcome everybody to the Youth Workout with Kinetic Kids, part of the 2020 Angel City Virtual Games presented by the Hartford. Uh, and thank you to our great friends, the Kinetic Kids. So I'm gonna hand it off to them and take it away. Hey guys, I'm Monica. I'm one of the program directors of Kinetic Kids. We are here in San Antonio, so we're getting some sunshine, getting a little heat today. Uh, but we provide sports and recreational activities for individuals of all abilities and disabilities. We do competitive, which is our San Antonio premiere, and uh, recreational as well as um, a mommy and me or a parent and me to get our youngest population. So we have a wide array of abilities and agents with our participants. And I specifically work in the CrossFit uh, program, so that's what we're going to be doing today, getting fit. Okay. So I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to do demonstrations, um, standing and sitting. So you can pick what's most comfortable for you, where you feel like you'll be most successful. Um, we're gonna do a warm up together. Uh, you'll hear my voice, I'm Monica, and then you might also hear Jenna, who is our admin. Jenna, you wanna say hi? Hi guys, I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, so you'll hear from either of us. Um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna peek around real quick just to see who we got going on. And, um, so I'm gonna show you, let's do our warm up. You're gonna do arm circles. And let's go big, you can go back or backwards. And you can do them standing or sitting. The point is to get nice, big range of motion. Okay. And then you're gonna go the other way. Bigger this time. You can switch it up and do Alternating, or you can do them both together. We got some arm circles in there. How's it looking, Jenna? Looks good. Awesome. Keep moving, guys. Nice work. All right, so let's go across our bodies and give yourself a big hug. And then you're going to open up, stretch your fingers as far apart from each other as you can. Like you're reaching between two walls. And you're going to come across and give yourself another big hug. Squeeze as tight as you can. Open up those arms, stretch your fingers out away from each other. And you're gonna grab the world like a big globe this time and slowly come across your body, reach back for your shoulder blades. Your arms are crossing across the front of you. And we're gonna give ourselves a nice big hug, squeeze nice and tight. And then we're gonna let it out and shake those arms out. Shake them out. Get those fingers, move each finger individually, get those wrists going in circles. You can pick the direction, change the other way. We started school here, so some of you guys might be sitting a little bit more than normal. Let's get those wrist circles still going, change direction. And then you're gonna open up your elbows and touch your shoulders. Open up, stretch those fingers out, come back and touch your shoulders. Is this a good pace for everyone? I'm gonna let Jenna give me a yes or no. That's a good pace. Awesome, guys. All right, so from here, I'm gonna show you sitting and then I'll show you standing. We're gonna do trunk rotation with both hands out in front of us. Elbows are straight. Hands are in line with your shoulders if you can. If not, you're just gonna lift your hands as high as you can, keeping your hands together like an alligator or a crocodile sideways. And you're gonna Stretch your fingers to one side as far as you can and get that front twisted. And we're going to go to the other side. This first couple we're going to do slow and controlled and just try and get as much rotation as we can. So if we're standing, if you're standing, you're going to rotate as much as you can. We're still going slow and controlled. Rotate the other way. And then you can pick it up and do a pace that's comfortable for you. But you're just gonna go side to side, swing your arms side to side, try and keep those elbows straight and try and keep those hands as high as you can. There we go, side to side, whatever feels good. And let's go ahead and shake those arms out again. All right, so next one, we're gonna pick those legs up. If you are standing, give yourself a target by putting your hands in front of your stomach and you're gonna reach knees to hands. If you're seated, 
We're gonna do similar hands in front. You're gonna reach those knees as high as you can. If you can go higher than your hands, move your hands out of the way and let those knees come up towards your chest. We're gonna start out slow and controlled. Here, getting those knees up. And I'm gonna count down from 10. And once I get to zero, we're gonna pick up that pace. So getting those knees up, I'm gonna count down from 10 and you're gonna pick up the pace as fast as you can in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. If you're down, you're getting them up as fast as you can, as fast as you can, as fast as you can in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest, shake those legs out. Shake them out, shake them out. You should be breathing a little bit. You might get a little, a little sweat pumping. That's good. We're just trying to get everything flowing, heart rate up. Let's get some ankle circles. So if you're standing, you can do one leg at a time. Step back. Go. One leg at a time. Switch sides. If you're seated, you can do circles out in front of you or on the ground. Go the other way. Sorry, other side, switch sides again. Some circles. And then just like we did with our fingers, you're gonna try and wiggle your toes. If you need to use your fingers to demonstrate, to let your brain think about what we want your toes to do, use your fingers as an example. Try and change directions. For me, that's a lot harder, but it's good to give your feet that attention. We're almost there. No one's breathing heavy yet. Just kidding, I'm getting, I'm getting a little warm, getting warmed up. Okay, so um, for warm up, right, we wanna try and get that heart rate moving, different parts of our body uh, moving. I'm sorry, heart rate up, different parts of our body moving. Um, but we're gonna transition into our workout. For CrossFit, we call it a WOD, workout of the day. We're gonna take time to go over each movement that's in the workout. And then together as a group, we'll actually start the workout together on a clock. So I'm gonna talk about the workout. I'm gonna demonstrate the movements, make sure you guys are comfortable with them. And then I'll say, hey, on the count of three, two, one, go, that's when we're actually gonna start doing our hardcore work. And I'm telling you that because I don't want you as we're warming up to put it all out there and then when we get to the wad, you're already burnt out. So this first part, we're gonna do nice and steady and learn this movement before we get into um, the actual workout or the wad. All right, Jenna, is that a good spot? Yeah. Okay, so for our workout, we're gonna go four times through four movements. Uh, we're gonna work for 30 seconds and then rest for 30 seconds every time we move. Uh, so essentially it's gonna be 16 minutes. For our first set, we're gonna do 30 seconds of, um, guys, I'm so sorry, let's take two steps back we're gonna, we're gonna use weighted objects for the workout. So, I'm gonna use my water bottle. And you can, if you have a water bottle that's huge, if you have a gallon of water, I would say water over milk. <laughs> um, you can put as much or a little water in it as you want to make it heavy. Other things that are good are canned food, um, laundry detergent that's sealed and closed, backpacks with um, spirals or books in them, Big books themselves are also great for weights if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Okay, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, then um, you can grab that. And if you don't have weights, we're still gonna go through the movements um, and you're just gonna do them as strong as you can. Um, let me just check real quick and see if we need some time to get weights. Okay. This might be a good time to get a drink of water too if people are getting their weights. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can hear me better. Everyone can see me? Okay, so for our four rounds, our first movement is going to be um, ground to chest. If uh, you have a hard time reaching the ground, we're gonna use our knees or anywhere between our feet and our knees as our starting point, but you're always gonna end at your chest. 
So I'm gonna show you what that looks like with my water bottle and without my water bottle. And I encourage you guys to practice this movement with me. I'm gonna show you and I want you to practice and Jenna and I will um, kind of talk you through it as we go. So our first movement, just to warm up, like I said, this is not the workout, so don't put it all out there. Just make sure you get comfortable with that movement. Um, if you have a water bottle or something weighted, you're gonna reach in front, bring it to your chest and make sure your chest gets nice and tall. So let me show you from the side. Ground the chest nice and tall. So I wanna finish with my shoulders completely over my hips. I don't want my chest or my head in front of my hips. Uh, that's gonna give me that full extension and help me get every part of my body that, that I'm working to turn on. So we're gonna go ground to shoulder. Um, like I said, if ground is not an option for you, we're gonna go shins or knees to chest and we're still gonna make sure that we get that full extension where our shoulders finish over or just behind our hips. If you're in a chair and your back, the back of your chair is gonna stop you from getting that full movement if it's possible for you to slide your hips forward, just for this movement, I want you to practice, or I want you to do the movement with your hips off the back of the chair. So you have ground or knees to chest with a full back. Okay, ready for the next movement? So our next movement is a bicep curl. So you're gonna pick that weight up. It's gonna already be in your lap. Elbows are gonna start straight and you're gonna let the elbows bend, keeping your elbows close to your ribs on each side, bend up towards your chest. So really the only thing that's moving is your elbows and your hands are coming from your knees up to your shoulders. If you don't have a weight, you're gonna act like you have something really heavy and you're gonna flex those biceps and squeeze that muscle under your shoulders as much as you can to get those muscles activated. So this is gonna be our bicep curls. Looks good, guys. Um, our third movement, and as we're going through the workout, I will tell you guys what we're doing and I will give you uh, verbal and visual cues. So if I'm giving you a lot of info right now, don't worry, as we're going through the workout, I'll make sure you guys know what's coming up and what's expected. Um, we're on movement three, which is gonna be our chest to overhead. If you have a single weight, you're gonna put chest, Elbows are gonna start next to your ribs, so you're keeping your body nice and tight, and you're gonna press straight up over your head. Finish with your hands over your head and your elbows by your ears. So your elbows are gonna be nice and straight like you're reaching for the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. And then we're gonna come back down to our chest with elbows by our ears. So if you don't have weights, you're gonna start with your thumbs touching your shoulders. You're giving yourself thumbs up, thumbs by your shoulders. Elbows are gonna start tight to your body. You're gonna squeeze and turn all those muscles on. Press the ground away with your feet, even if you're in a chair. If you're standing, you're doing the same thing, pressing that ground away. And you're gonna press those arms up, shoulders up. Finish with your fingers up as high as you can. Act like you have something heavy in your arms and elbows are gonna squeeze tight. Keep close to your ears. Good with that movement? Yeah, Okay. I got it. So then our last one is gonna be um, a tricep dip or a hold. Is there anyone who doesn't have armrest? Okay. I'm gonna show you two options for this tricep press. Um, if you have armrest in a chair like I do, um, you're going to start with your bottom on the chair and your hands at each side, right close to your body. So I don't want them in front of you and I don't want them behind your trunk. I want your hands right in line with your body and you're going to press your body away from the chair and lift your bottom up off the chair. You can hold for this movement or you can lower and lift. If you do not have armrest and you are on a chair, you're gonna slide your bottom forward and press your hips up off the chair. I'm gonna turn sideways visual, Jenna, does that visual look good? Mm -hmm. And you're going to let your bottom slip under the chair and press up. If you're not so comfortable doing that, then we're just gonna hold our bottom up off the chair as high as, high as we can, pressing our hands as strong as we can into that chair, turning on all of our muscles from our shoulders to our wrists, turning them on and pressing, 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 pressing. How do we feel with that movement? It's warmed up. 
<laughs> okay. Coach Monica's warmed up. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, okay. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. We're going to go four rounds. I'm going to yell out the words ground, uh, ground or knee to chest. Then I'm going to say rest, and we're going to rest for 30 seconds. So I'm going to yell out bicep curls, and we're going to do bicep curls for 30 seconds. And then we're going to rest for 30 seconds. I'm going to yell out chest to overhead. We're going to practice lifting our hands up over our head as high as we can. And then we're going to rest for 30 seconds. And our last movement is going to be a tricep dip or that whole whatever works for you guys. Um, so we'll have rest between each movement. That means during those 30 seconds of work, I want you guys working as hard as you can. Let me get my clock started. Y'all ready? Coach Monica, if it's too much, I can also keep time for you. Okay, um, I'm going to put it here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll be able to see it, and I can give you a three-second countdown. But if you want to have time up on your screen, that's awesome. I would appreciate that. It might be hard to synchronize, but I think we can make it work. Well, I just meant I, I could keep it on my phone. So if you're going to do it on your phone, we'll be okay. I don't think I have okay. a way to put it on my screen. Yeah. No. So I have a timer, and it will do it for me. It'll give me a countdown each 30 seconds. Cool. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up from everyone? You guys are ready. Cool. We got it. So I'm going to turn my volume up. You'll hear a three second or three beats. And that's when we'll say three, two, one, go. And our first movement is ground or knee to chest. So bring that weight up to your chest. Make sure those shoulders get in line with or behind your hips. Ground to chest or we can go knee to chest. We're gonna keep working. We have 15 more seconds. I want you moving as quickly as you can or as strongly as you can. Got everyone moving? You're moving. So we're gonna go feet, shin, knees to chest. Three, two, one, rest. Give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear that three beep countdown. You got the thumbs up. Okay, so then I don't have to yell three, two, one every time you can hear the beeps. <laughs> You don't need to hear that much of um, So we're gonna, we're resting right now and we're gonna get ready for our next movement, which is bicep curls. So you're gonna start with hands straight or a weight in your lap. We're getting ready. So elbow straight, hands in front of you and you're gonna bring that weight up. Turn on those biceps. Keep those elbows nice and close to your body. I don't want any chicken wings or angel wings. Elbows need to stay close so we can target our muscle. Pull it up high. The dog. <laughs> nice. I love it. Turn it in. If you want to challenge yourself and do one hand at a time with a weight. Rest. Rest. We've got 30 seconds. Our next one is going to be chest to overhead. So if you have that weight, keep it in your lap. Make sure your feet are nice and planted. Catch your breath. Let those arms loosen up. And here we go, five seconds. So starting with that close to your chest and then you're going to press up elbows to your ears hands up as high as you can and control back down to your chest press that weight up press those hands up reach those fingers to the ceiling elbows to your ears everything is nice and tight pay attention to your rib cage make sure it stays close to your body and you're not letting it uh, arch or your ribs fly away from your body you're going to keep everything nice and strong and tight keep pressing those elbows up towards your ears and nice Got everyone looking good? Looks good. Nice job, guys. So we have one more movement of this round, and it's going to be our tricep press or dip. And Jenna, I'm going to let you yell if I need to transition from arms to feet, from arm wrestling to feet. Um, so for this one, you're going to make sure those feet are planted into the ground. If you need to slide your hips forward, three, two, one, and go. Press up as high as you can. If you're comfortable adding movement, you're gonna let your bottom sink down to the chair, keeping those arms nice and solid into the armrest or the seat and press up and then lower back down. Or we're holding nice and strong. We're pressing from our elbows 
I'm sorry, from our shoulders to our elbows to our wrists, keeping those hands nice and solid. Holding, holding, holding. Keep pressing that bottom away from you, that chair away from you, and rest. So that's one round. We have three more, and we're gonna go through those same four movements in that same order. Um, you'll have a couple seconds to kind of figure out where you can push yourself harder or where maybe you need to slow down and work on form versus going uh, 100 miles per hour. Or, I'm sorry, on this next round. But we do wanna try and keep a nice consistent pace. So we're getting ready in five seconds. Just starting with that weight in front of you, either at your, either at the ground, at your knees, and you're gonna bring it up to your chest. Make sure those shoulders get tall, that core stays tight. Reaching in front, bringing it to your chest, finishing tall and back down. Press the ground away. You can use those feet no matter where you are. Press up, finish the shoulders behind your hips every time, nice and tall. Get that chest nice and tall at the end, that's key. 30 seconds of rest. Next one is gonna be our bicep curl, so you can keep that weight in your lap. Coach Monica, are you allowed to drink your water bottle and make it lighter during the workout? You are, <laughs> you are, that's a good time. I like it. Grab some water if you need it any time during rest or while movement. We've got three seconds till we start. All right, so let's get those bicep curls. Think about making those arms nice and strong. Keep elbows close. Turn those biceps on. Then you're gonna reach out, make those elbows nice and straight. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion. So don't move fast and let those elbows stay bent. I really wanna make sure those elbows get all the way straight at the end of the movement, movement and finish with hands as close to your shoulders as you can. Elbows are staying nice and close. Core is on and strong, even though we're focusing on arms. And rest. Grab some water. Take a couple deep breaths. Let your heart rate come down if it's getting up as you're moving faster. In our next movement, we can keep that weight in our lap, or we're going to be um, doing chest to overhead. five seconds. So get that weight ready, arms ready, and you're going to go chest to overhead. So always finish with those elbows close to your ears and fingers up as high as you can. Control back down to your chest or to your shoulders. Pressing up high. Let me show you without weights. You're going to go shoulders up over your head with your hands, reaching those fingers to the ceiling. Elbows finished by your ears. Every muscle in your hand um, arm and shoulders turned on as you're moving. Reaching up high, bringing it back down, reaching up high, back down. And rest. We've got one more movement for this round, then we'll be halfway there. Great job. Water if you need it. Do I need to keep showing with weights? Yep. If anything feels tight, you can shake it out. You can feel your body better than I can tell you what to move on your body. And here we go with our tricep dips or hold. You're pressing that chair away from you, either at the seat or at your armrest. And you're turning every muscle in your arm on that you can, pressing those shoulders down, reaching nice. your head up to the ceiling, keeping your bottom up high. If you're challenging yourself with a little extra movement, you're gonna let your seat lower, I'm sorry, your bottom lower to the seat or press up. And rest. Okay, so that's two rounds. You should have a good idea of which movements are challenging for you and which movements you feel most comfortable with. Um, so this round, really kind of try and challenge yourself and either get more reps and move faster or um, work on getting through that full range of motion and not cheating and moving too quick. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with that ground to chest, so weight in front of you. All right, you're gonna reach, bring that weight to your chest. Shoulders are always gonna finish at or beyond your hips. So bring that ground to chest, down to chest. So you can go knee to chest, shin to chest. 
feet to chest. Very good. I see a lot of good range of motion. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Nice job, guys. And rest. Our next movement is going to be bicep curls. So you can use this time to grab water or get your weight set in your lap or somewhere you can reach them easily. If you're feeling your back's a little tight, this is a good one to let your back rest against your chair or support behind you. We're always thinking about keeping our core strong, even when we're moving just arms and just legs. Okay, so start with those elbows straight, weight out in front of you. Bring that weight up towards your chest, let those elbows bend. Elbows are gonna stay nice and close to your body. We're focusing on those biceps. Make sure you're getting that full range at the end, elbows all the way straight, fingers are away from your body. As you bend up, you're gonna try and get those hands as close to your shoulders as you can. Awesome, rest. Move into that chest to overhead so weight can stay on your lap or in front of you. If you feel like your heart rate's going up, let's take a couple deep breaths to slow it down. Deep breath in. And you're gonna push that air out. Let that heart rate come down. We're gonna get ready to work in three, two, one. Starting at the chest and pressing up as high as you can. Always finish with those elbows next to your ears and back down at your chest. Press up to the ceiling or the roof. Finish nice and strong. Control back down to your chest. Press up over your head and back down. Don't forget about your feet or your bottom. Make sure you're pressing those into your chair or the ground so you have a nice solid foundation. Core is strong. Back is nice and tall and straight. Rest. Probably took out one more breath in. I was counting down on that last one. And then we're going to finish this round with our tricep press or tricep hold. Y'all are looking so good out there. Keep it up. Almost 75%. If anything's feeling tight, uh, don't forget to kind of loosen it out. Give that, that area a little tension. Let's get ready to work. Okay, go ahead and press that chair away from you and your bottom up off the chair. Reach your head up, make your back nice and straight, core nice and strong. If you want to add those dips, you're going to control yourself down to the chair and then press yourself back up. Every time, think about pressing every part of your arm from your hands to your shoulders to turn every muscle on. Good, and rest. Good. So we have one more round. This is the last one. I want you to challenge yourself in every movement. Um, you know what's a good pace, or you should have an, a better idea of what's a good pace. Um, and yeah, just give yourself that extra push. Get a little water. Got five seconds last round, guys. Start with that weight in front. We're going ground to chest and finishing with those shoulders past our hips. So ground all the way up tall. As you're reaching down, don't let your back curve and get your stomach get floppy. Make sure you stay nice and engaged. Your back should stay nice and straight. You should feel your stomach muscles active through the whole movement. Good, nice. Big, tall range of motion at the end. Awesome. A little bit of rest. This is a good time to reposition your hips. If you're in the lower back and you need a little extra support, we're going to get ready for our bicep curl so that weight can be in front of you or on your lap. Let that heart rate slow down. Great job, everyone. You're in the spread. 15 seconds on one arm and 15 seconds on the other arm. Starting with that elbow straight, finishing with hand by your shoulder. Full range if you want to pick up the pace a little bit, but still get that full range. So elbow straight at the end and hand as close to your shoulder as you can. 
Let's go ahead and switch if you're doing one arm. Right, 10 more seconds. Okay. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. Rest. Our next one is our chest to overhead. So grab some water, shake it out, get that weight set, get your bottom in a good position, your feet in a good position. You can use those feet to press or your bottom as a nice solid foundation, even though we're moving our arms. What happens under your arms is really important as we're doing our shoulder or our chest overhead. And let's go ahead and start pinching. If you want to challenge yourself and do one arm on this last one with that weight, you're going to start with your hand by your shoulder. Press up so that elbow is nice and straight and finish with your elbow by your ear. Hand as high as you can get it. And we're at 15 seconds, so go switch. If you're doing one hand, if you're doing both, keep on moving. Press up, finish with that elbow by that ear. Press, press, press. Keep going, stay strong. Everything nice and tight. Awesome. Okay, our last one. We got our tricep press. Get your bottom in a good position where you need it on that chair. Get your feet in good position. Same thing, make sure that core stays tight and in place, even though we're focusing on moving our arms, lifting our bottom. We wanna get as much out of this workout as we can, so the more muscles we can tell to turn on, the more work you're doing. And go, last one. You're either holding, pressing that chair away from you, or you're moving. You're letting your bottom slowly control back to the chair, and then you're pressing explosively up to the air. And those elbows bend on the way down, control, press strong on the way up. Keep moving. You got 10 more seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Press, press, press. Awesome. Last round. So we have our last round is our 30 seconds of rest. Um, so shake out if you need to shake anything out. Or we have 40. it out. Grab some water. Awesome. Okay. So um, I always like to finish with some dynamic mobility. We did a lot of shoulders today. Um, so let me just peek real quick. Okay. Awesome. Um, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to reach back behind, pointing one elbow to the sky, and one hand is touching the back of your shoulder, almost like you're giving yourself a pat on the back with your elbow straight to the sky. And we're going to give ourselves a little extra help with our other hand by pushing our elbow straight back, but letting our elbow stay close to our ear. So I don't want your elbows to float away from your head or from your ear. I want it to stay nice and close. And we're going to reach back. You should be making your back of your arm, armpit and your side nice and long. So as we're stretching here, we are going to shift our body the other direction. So you're going to let your elbow go away from your hip. Whichever elbow is up in the air, that elbow is going away from that hip. Your body's gonna go nice and long, and we're gonna go slow and control back to the middle. Is that a good pace? And then we're gonna do that two more times. So you're still helping your elbow come straight back. Elbow is close to your ear. That hand is touching your shoulder blade, and you're gonna reach away from your hip, making that side of your body nice and long. Trying to get your elbow as far away from your hip as you can. And then we're gonna bring it back. Let's go one more time. Elbow up as high as you can to the ceiling or the roof. And then you're going to reach away from the body. Back to the middle. Shake it out. We're going to switch sides. So opposite hand is going to reach back behind. You want to keep your um, arm, your bicep, your elbow close to your head, whatever makes most sense to you. And press with your opposite hand straight back 
give yourself a little extra stretch. From here, we're gonna make our opposite side of our body nice and long. And reach, open up that armpit, elbow away from your hip. And bring it back to the middle. And again, elbow up to the ceiling. Start to lean to that opposite side. Make your armpit open as much as you can. Elbow away from your hip. And back to the middle. And let's go one more time. Open, open, open. Take a nice, nice deep breath in. And on the way out, you're going to come back to the middle. Get some shoulder rolls. So on the way up, you're gonna bring your shoulders as close to your ears. When you go back behind your ears, I want you to pinch your shoulder blades together like you have a pencil on your spine and you're trying to pinch it. Then you're gonna drop those shoulder elbows, shoulders <laughs> as low as you can away from your ears. You are pulling them with your shoulder muscles away from your ears. And then we're gonna bring them forward as much as we can, almost like we're pinching our chest together. And we're gonna do that one more time. Up as high as you can towards your ears, back, pinch them together, pull them down away from your ears as much as you can, and then one more time up. We're going to go opposite direction. You can go at your own pace for the opposite direction, but make sure you get in that full range. How are we on time? One more? Okay. One more? Okay. So then I also like to um, open up our hands and give our hands and forearms some care. Um, so what you're going to do is hands in front of you, like you're giving someone a high five, your elbow is going to start straight. You're going to, with your other hands, lace your fingers. So match your fingers and your pressure should be at the uh, bony part of your fingers and not the tips of your fingers. So almost into your palm and you're going to bring that back. That's elbow come towards your side and then you're going to press away elbow come towards your side and then you're going to press away and you can give yourself as much of a stretch or as light of a stretch as you want so we're going to do five close open as much as you can close open as much as you can close open those fingers make a fist open those fingers Take it out, let's do the other side. Okay, after you're giving someone a high five with your other hand, fingers are open. Other hand's gonna come in front. Fingers are touching your palms. You're gonna get a nice good contact with your fingers and give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Let that elbow bend and come in towards your body. Press away, in towards your body, press away, in towards your body, press away. And then let's make a fist and then open up those fingers as much as you can. We're going for three, four, five. Let's take it all out. All right, so that's the workout I have. Got some mobility, got some cardio, got some resistance in there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it.